So the press conference was 15 minutes of Devon Lerett completely owning Gennady Kvitvinia. Gennady had absolutely nothing impressive to say in response. And Devon remains the undisputed king of press conferences. Nobody even comes close to that guy. He knows what he's doing. The confidence level is on another, another stage. So tomorrow, Gennady, you will quit. It will be the first time in your career that you will quit. Devon said that he will take Gennady's soul, he will pet him, he will make his, him his horse, he will teach him to sit down and stuff. Gennady did not have much to say in response. There was even one moment where Gennady said that Devon is lucky because he doesn't know English. At that point, to me, Gennady already quit that mind games battle against Devon, at least on the microphone. We cannot say for sure what is going to happen on the table. Then Devon stood up. That was something interesting. He stood up and then told Gennady to sit down. <laughs> I was kind of shocked, like, what is Devon trying to do here? So after that, they kind of went towards Engin Terzi, the center line where the main camera was. And at one point, some people thought that they are maybe going to fist fight or something because people were trying to calm him down. Travis was trying to, like, do that fake attempt to hold Devon Lerett off as if he was going to do some fist fight or something. So they went there, as you can see. And something interesting happened there. I'll, I'll tell you what, what I noticed. And I saw that video as well. And Gennady also mentioned that point. So Gennady mentioned that Devon's hand is shaking. Like he said, why are your hands shaking? You're already scared. And Devon said, no, I can show you my hand is not shaking. So you know why that topic was brought up in one video where Devon was showing his hands on the East versus West channel. That video is available. Devon Laird's hand was shaking a lot. Like those people who have sickness of shaking their hands. I don't know what that disease or whatever the condition is, is called. I don't know what is that. But Devon's hands were clearly shaking in that video. Maybe Gennady saw that video, but there Devon's hands were not shaking. Maybe it's the right hand that shakes. So that's why Devon showed the left arm. We don't know. But clearly in that video, maybe you guys also noticed that. I'll link the video in the description. So after that, Gennady started talking about Dave Chafee. He mentioned that... Uh, Devon mentioned, I think, Dave and and Gennady said that Dave is really impressive arm wrestler. John is also really impressive. I think these were kind of illogical points or unnecessary points at the press conference, which was leading to Gennady's defeat on that day. It was really interesting. So Gennady said that, Devon, you will lose to me and also you will lose to Revaz. You have already lost to Levan. So keep the tattoo of my name short on your bicep because you will have to get the name of Revaz as well. You don't have that big of a bicep. That's what he didn't say, but I'm, I'm adding it. I think he may have meant to say that one as well. So that was interesting. Then Devon said, how about we make a tattoo deal together? You get the tattoo of a Canadian flag with some tears or something. And then I'll get your name tattooed. And that was an interesting offer and Gennady refused it. Guys, Gennady refused that offer. He said that it is against his personal beliefs, religious or something that he cannot get a tattoo. Okay, understandable. Then he himself said, do you have any, any other offer? I may consider that. Well, good enough. Devon gave him another offer. That's where Gennady screwed up. He shouldn't have said that. Then Devon said that, how about you shave your beard? And surprisingly, or maybe not so surprisingly, Gennady said that no. He said no to that as well. To me, that is not keeping your words. Gennady didn't keep his word. He said any other offer he is willing to accept. And Devon gave him an offer. Like, these are high-level matches. I think shaving a beard, that's that's a worthy challenge. That I think it was a great, great challenge in my opinion. If the other guy is willing to have a tattoo permanently on, your, on his body, of your name, and you just have to shave your beard, which you can grow again, I think that's a fair deal. And I think at that point, Gennady kind of got scared. He's not confident. And if you remember the last time, not the last time, but at East versus West 4, Gennady himself offered Jerry to bet the paycheck on this match. The entire amount of money that they were getting from Engin, Gennady was willing to bet against Jerry. Jerry didn't accept that offer, thinking that it wasn't a wise option to say that. Gennady didn't offer his paycheck to Devon. It means he is not as confident as he was going into the Devon Lad match. To me, that's clear. Maybe he forgot about that paycheck thing, but if you're the one who is offering something, telling the other guy that I can fulfill any of your offers. I think you have to remember, like whenever these challenges come around, the paycheck is the first thing that comes to everyone's mind. Gennady was confident enough against Jerry. 
which he lost by the way but he's not confident in this match then devon also said that you can get hannah i think hannah then the name he mentioned a uh, kind of a temporary tattoo for two weeks gennady said no to that one as well so yeah that was kind of a weird weird statement weird point of view from from gennady like religious or personal beliefs but i think two weeks of tattoo that was uh, a fair fair deal in my opinion and then gennady was saying that morozov also said i'm going to win levan also said i'm going to win who is on your side is it just me or you guys also think that these arguments are kind of kind of sorry to say but kind of silly to to make at this point and for sure once again the language barrier but he had a translator it was roman's job devon was calling roman sg records sg records also knows that that you're going to lose devon said that you are going to need gennady said that you will need a chair to sit on while doing the king's move and devon said that you'll need the chair that vitali needed meaning the stretcher to be taken out in an ambulance okay so that was about it gennady was completely owned by devon let there was nothing absolutely nothing i was the, the energy the amount of energy and excitement that gennady brings on the table in these videos during the match i was expecting more from him kind of disappointing and speaking about disappointment in this video although gennady kind of lost but he tried so gennady gets a w devon for sure gets a w the whole east versus west and core sports team Angin Terzi especially they all get a w perfect audio quality perfect video started on time i think there was a little bit of lag for 5 6 seconds but everything was perfect neil pickup takes a w he he asked questions sharp and crisp short questions everyone did great everyone else on that in that arena all of the athletes they all get a l big l my man you all of you guys had about 2 months at least while the matches were announced and you had absolutely nothing interesting to say i feel sorry to say that but literally nothing a sixth grader would say more interesting things during a press conference than than what these guys guys did it looked like it looked more boring than a brics summit or something like politicians when politicians have have their discussions their meetings they are more aggressive than these arm wrestlers it was i would say hugely disappointing hugely disappointing everyone in the chat was saying that this is getting really boring people have their cell phones out devon had his cell phone out i think travis was all the time on his cell phone to me that's like De okay we can give devon a pass because he owns the press conference he is the one why these press conferences are successful but if you are anyone else other than devon and you are having your cell phone out and you're not really contributing anything to the press conference then you might as well not show up there it's highly disrespectful cell phones should be kept outside there is absolutely no place no reason why cell phones should be allowed during these press conferences highly unprofessional in my opinion and athletes you guys need to get get your game up man do something like do something i know your primary job is to perform on the table win there first job be entertaining second job and then your third job is to to run these press conferences man like a man like at least provide something interesting rob started dropping f bombs at one point but that was kind of short <laughs> people started saying that probably rob is drunk so overall the press conference uh, i would say apart from devon i i didn't really enjoy the press conference that much of course the team worked really well and the disappointment comes from all of the athletes that's that's what my opinion is please let me know of your thoughts in the comments and subscribe if you haven't already that's really important like the video and share it with someone who thinks like you and i'll see you again